Hello everyone. I'd like to talk, show you how show you how to find the tested statistic. I want to label P test statistic and P value by step crunch at this time. All right. So here's all information. Um, let us go to step crunch. But then look, this is left tail test, right? So mu equal to 76.3 for the null hypothesis and then alternative hypothesis, mu is less than 76.3. And we need all this kind of information, n equal to six, mean is X4, which is 73.9 and standard deviation S equal to 9.6. And then we're gonna find T test statistic. Right, not Z test the statistic at this time, right? So this is a sample mean, right? With the population mean. And the we're not using Z, which is a, a standard normal distribution. We are using the student's T distribution. Okay, so let me go to stack crunch and then go to stack and we will use t steps because we want to find the t test statistic as well as p value. Okay, now go to one sample. So let me start call everything. So stack. T stacks, one sample. And we don't have data at this time. We have only summary. So with the summary. Click. All right. Then um, I took a picture of this one so that I can uh, type. Sample mean, let me erase this one first. <laughs> sample mean was, let's see, uh, 73.9. And sample standard deviation, uh, it is 9.6. And sample size, which is the six. All right, so hypothesis test for mu, which is 76.3. And then alternative hypothesis is less than, which is, this one is telling us left tail test, right? All right, is it alpha given? Yes, alpha is, oh, I cannot see. There is banner, so I cannot see that. Uh, let me use 0.05. So let us do this one. Show critical value, that is alpha, 0 0.05. And this is optional p-value plot, right? So if you wanna do this, you can click and then compute. Okay. Uh, I want to make a bigger. So look, this will be T test statistic, right? Okay, now, uh, this is the P value. So let's see, um, we need to compare p-value, is it p-value is less than alpha? Alpha was 0 0.05, okay? Then um, if the p-value is less than alpha, we do reject the null hypothesis, right? So if uh, we do reject no hypothesis, that means there is uh, sufficient evidence to support the 
alternative hypothesis, right? Then look, P is 0.2835, okay? Then it's greater than alpha equal to 0.05. Then we say that, we remember only this one, right? Then uh, otherwise opposite. We remember only one thing, otherwise our brain is getting confused. <laughs> All right, so since P value is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, that means, let me write down. That means, fair to reject the null hypothesis means, we do not reject the null hypothesis, right? So this means, let me write down, there is not sufficient Samples evidence to support the claim that the law, the population mean is less than. Let me just write down from your. Example, 76.3, uh, okay? All right, so let me make another video for interpretation of the T-test statistic, okay? Thank you for watching. I hope this one helps you. Bye.